It's not unusual to see service dogs helping people in many areas of life, from retrieving objects to helping during medical emergencies. News 8's Emily Leonard in studio tonight to introduce us to a service dog of a different kind working in a West Michigan school. Emily. Brian and Sue, we've heard so much about how the pandemic has affected kids and teens, from an increasing mental health problems to falling behind in school. An educator at Portage Northern High School was looking for another way to help kids cope. Enter Hobbs the Husky, who got here at the perfect time. You just have to kind of follow them around for a day and you see that kids, uh, it just changes some kids. It's another day of work for Hobbs the Husky, who of course isn't a Husky at all. Okay, you wanna go see your buddy? But when you work, learn, or play at Portage Northern High School, even if you're a golden retriever, you're a Husky for life. Initially, when the idea came up, I, I was like, a dog? Longtime principal Jim French was skeptical at first. This way, Bob. It was Ryan Ledlow's idea. He's an interventionist at the school. First year I was in that position, I was looking at ways to help the kids. Uh, I quickly realized that, man, there's a lot of things going on, and so what other um, things can we do here at the school that can, that can benefit them? Brighton area schools on the other side of the state, they're the model in Michigan for integrating therapy dogs. Ryan and Jim visited to see how they're doing it, and the planning and fundraising began to bring a social-emotional learning dog into Portage Northern. Good boy. These days, Hobbs is off and running. When you read the research behind having dogs in settings like this, um, it's that uh, you know, unconditional love, non-judgment that they provide uh, that I think kids gravitate to. His home base is Ryan's room. It looks comfy, but remember, Hobbs is a working dog. We kind of uh, work him like a library book would be. Uh, teachers, uh, every other week I send out a form. Teachers are able to put their name into different time slots and we make sure that the dog gets there and uh, usually with a, some treats that the kids can give them and things like that. Potty breaks are during second and fifth hours, and at the end of the day, Hobbs goes home with Ryan's brother, Nate, an assistant principal at the school. Together, these brothers have teamed up to bring something a little bit different, but much needed to the halls of this high school. I've uh, heard comments it, as we're walking through the hall, the student will come up and just get head to head with them and say, you know, you're, you're the favorite thing I have here. And you know, you hear stuff like that over and over and over and how much uh, kids enjoy them. It just really makes it uh, worthwhile. Hobbs was trained at Paws with a Cause in Wayland. Sprinkle Row Veterinary Clinic and Paw Prints Grooming donate their services in support of Hobbs. Mm. Boy. Just, <laughs> just try to wipe the smile oh, off Hobbs' right. face. So cute. It was a fun day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Loving it. For sure. All right. Thanks, Thanks Emily. Emily.